Hi, my name is Scott Champion. I'm on the marketing team here at CirclePix. I'm going to go through how to set up a lobby listing display. I'm logged into a broker's account and over here on the left hand side you will see lobby listing display. So I click on that and the first thing that you see right here it says lobby display and you see this one right here and it says real estate company results San Fernando Valley lobby. So this is um, this brokerage's uh, listings and it's a default one so this has nothing else but listings and if that's good enough for you you can go ahead and use that one but if you do want to personalize your lobby listing display to incorporate announcements or video um, you can create a custom one so we're going to create a new lobby display right here we're going to give it a name we're going to give it um, the name we'll just say it's office wide so that uh, you can see there are two different offices here, so we're just going to use this one that either either brokerage can use or either office can use. And so you have a bunch of different settings here. You have company logo. If um, the different offices have an office logo, you can incorporate that. Uh, listing agent, if there's any co-listing agent, um, we can include that. So date, time, uh, you know, if any of your listings have an open house coming up, um, that will pick up those two. Uh, for lead generator, you can do short code or the QR code, uh, depending on which you prefer. We're going to keep it at short code for this one. If you have any that are just listed and how many days ago, you can incorporate that. Realtor logo, we can incorporate equal housing opportunity logo. Uh, and then we come to display options. Now, there are a bunch of different choices here. Uh, listing display time, you can choose 12, 24, 30, 48, or 60 seconds long. Uh, we recommend 30 seconds, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to do 12 seconds, just so you can see. And when it says image transition, I highly recommend fade. That is probably the best and easiest on the eyes. And in terms of image layout, you can have three, four, or six images, but I'm going to stick with three because I think that looks the best. Now, your primary font color, this is what most of your text is going to be, so I'm going to keep it as black because I think that looks the best. And um, I'm going to switch this up. So if you have a hex code and you know the hex code for your company colors, you can just punch them in right there or you can try to do them on the gradient. And I'm going to keep this background white because I think that's easiest. But if you do want to switch it up for, say, Halloween, do it orange or black or Christmas, red or green, you can do that. Uh, now over here we have a listing filter. So uh, if you want only your high-end homes, you can put in the price range. Um, or you can also specify, I only want listings that already have 4, 8, or 12 images. Um, also, if they're new, newly posted on CirclePix, uh, you can specify how many days. Um, so you can do all company listings or office listings, but I'm going to do all company. So then we come down here to all media. Now, these are the things, the interstitials, I guess, between the listings. And so I have a bunch of different JPEGs. I'm just going to show you. I designed this JPEG congratulating Marcella Delgado on her agent of the month. We also have like a birthday greeting for one of the agents. But we also have some video. And uh, the videos are actual YouTube links. And I actually would like to add one. And I found a great video about the neighborhood of Sherman Oaks. So I'm going to copy that URL. And then I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to name it Sherman Oaks video and then I'm going to submit it and it's going to add it to my list of, um, of content. Now all these things here, this is the order in which you're going to see them. So we're going to have a JPEG, JPEG video, video, JPEG, uh, JPEG video, video. So that's kind of the pattern that uh, I've set up here. But I also need to click on whether or not I'm going to use all these. So I'm going to click on all of them because I like them all. And then right here at the bottom, you'll see this. It says show transitional content after every, uh, you can do 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to do two just for the sake of this um, tutorial. So I'm just going to double check everything. Oh, looks like that disappeared. So I'm just going to say office wide again. And then I'm going to say this. All right. So now I have two up here. I have the office wide and the default. And then I can view the lobby listing display. So this is basically a dedicated website for your lobby listing display. And this is what will show on the monitors. And uh, if you want to do it full screen, you would just click on this button right here in your options. I'm not going to do that right now. 
Um, but this rotates through the different listings, and you can see we have the agent. If we had a co-agent, it would be right here. Address, price. Oh, and there we go. We have Marcella Delgado as agent of the month. We're so proud of her. She did really well this, this month. So we thought we'd do a little shout out. And uh, now we go back to a listing, and you can see we have our short code. So if someone is interested about this property, if they're walking back and forth and they see this, they can actually text that to the 67299, and they can get information. So this is basically how a lobby listing display works. It's really easy, and it's a great way to drive traffic uh, to your properties by just placing a, a monitor in your lobby or a window display. And there we go. Thanks so much for, for sitting in on this, and uh, we'll see you next time.